I notice one thing that a lot of people are really pissed off whenever any black person talks about their achievements and their greatness. You got a lot of these Eurocentrists that are always trying to Afro shame a lot of black folks or Afrocentric shame a lot of black folks for talking about things in their history. They say like a lot of Afrocentric people have plagiarized and taken from other people's history. No, it's not that. It's that we're showing that we are also in different parts of the world as black people. It's not just, you know, in one place or in two places. These people get so pissed. I mean, like, they get all pissed off even if you talk about empires like Mali and Songhai and, and, and Dartichet and all that stuff and still get all butt hurt because they're showing, we're showing greatness about where we come from. And yes, we were in Egypt as well. Egyptians are a mixed people, and they've had different invasions and whatsoever. As a matter of fact, one of the first um, dynasties and settlements were from sub-Sahara, and they went up to the Sudan, from what is known now as, now as the Sudan, into what is now Egypt. And, and from what I understand, there were even pyramids in the Sudan before in Egypt. Misraim or Kemet, some people might call it. And yes, we were there. Um, and we were also in different parts of North Africa. From what I understand, we were the original inhabitants of that. And everyone mixed in at that point. So it's just, I, I can't stand people conjecting things that, be, because they don't want ha us to have any part in anything. The thing is, when you talk about black history, you know, <laughs> You have to talk about it from a worldwide stance. It helps you to appreciate different cultures as well. And though I might have mostly West and Central African and some East African background, which I know, um, I have friends that have a bunch of different mixes of, of their African descent. They're Afro-American or Afro-Latino, but for the most part, they have West and Central Africa. Some have North and also East Africa too. And it's it's just funny, like... The reach is so bad. I'm going to do another video on basically what is now considered whiteness that was not considered whiteness a long time ago. And it's just funny how, like, I have a, a friend who's a dark Egyptian. Actually, he's half Filipino and half Egyptian. But he's a dark Egyptian. You know, he's almost my color. I'm a dark brown uh, cinnamon skin guy. And basically, he was saying, yeah, he pretty much, you know, marks white. And I'm like... I just told him straight out, I'm like, you're not white, you know, and this whole like, yeah, I'm going to do a video about the so-called dark skin Caucasian. Anyway, I just thought I would give my piece. And anytime someone ever accuses you of being an Afrocentric person and, and tries to shame you about that, you accuse them of being a Eurocentrist person. And shame them on what they're doing. Because seriously, if it wasn't for Eurocentrism, you wouldn't have such a lash from from a lot of us. It's, which is not even a lash. It's more like we're learning our own history, you know. And, 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 and some people are angry about things that have happened. So a lot of these white supremacists can't say anything. Because they're the cause of it. 